Welcome to the show, uh, Lloyd. I I'm just curious that you actually became the Mariners manager before Robinson Cano signed on the dotted line. So did you walk in, play hardball during negotiations, saying, I'm not taking this gig unless you give me Robbie? <laughs> That's exactly what I said. <laughs> yeah. No, you know, actually, Jack and I had great conversations. And, uh, you know, obviously, you know, when you do this, you're concerned about the direction of the club. And uh, he, he gave me assurances that we were going to try to go out and do some things to make us better. Now, I, I didn't think I would get this smart that, that quick, <laughs> but I, I got real smart real fast. So, What was your reaction, though? Because I think that shocked everybody how quick that happened. Boom, Cano to Seattle, because we really didn't think he was leaving New York. But what was your reaction to go, Cano's coming, baby? Well, you know, when we sat down and, and, and went through the interview process and then the uh, – uh, Robbie and his people, and we were there, Jack and, and Jay-Z, what do you mean people. Robbie and his people? Jay-Z, yeah. did you get to talk to Jay-Z? Well, I got the real Jay-Z, though. <laughs> but you yeah. do, you got Jack. Yeah. That's right. But you, <laughs> did you spoke to Jay-Z? Did you meet him? <laughs> I met him, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, my Jay-Z reminded him that he was Jay-Z. Yeah. First. Before, first. Right. Yeah, he was so. born first. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> so when you dish out uh, $240 million bucks to a guy, is it good enough for him to just hit 300, 30, and 100? Or do you say, hey, listen, we got young guys here. I need a leader. You're the face of the franchise. I need a little bit more out of you than just on the field. Well, I, I think that's a great uh, question. You know, w one thing that I've, I've always said is I, I don't need guys to lead in the locker room. I need guys to lead on the field. Uh, go out and hit me three-run homers, drive in a tough run with two outs in the ninth inning and win a ball game. So I'll take care of the locker room and do the cheerleading in the locker room. You take care of the field. So. Uh, we, we got a special player, you know, it's no question. But I, the one thing I would remind people is, you know, we still got some talent on the field, too. You know, we got a third baseman that hit 19 home runs last year, drove in 80 runs in his mm -hmm. second year. Uh, got a shortstop that hit eight home runs and 300 at bats. So uh, a, a nice catcher, Zanino, that's uh, very promising. We got some talent in the outfield, and we can talk all day long about that pitching. Right. So. We're not just donkeys, you know, we, we got a chance. And uh, obviously we're trying to add a few pieces to make us better. You know, and that's funny because sometimes you get a high contract and they think the contract or the salary dictates leadership. Everybody's got different personality. If Cano becomes a, a more vocal guy, great, but it's not his demeanor. He rolls that's the right. pole. He rolls the pole. He'll have somebody off the bench that might be a little more that's vocal, right. right? That's right. Hey, I can jump up and <laughs> hey, jump in Jackson with the best of them. So. All right. I want to ask you a question. <laughs> Give me your biggest strength as a manager and your biggest weakness that you have learned from since while you've been in the dugout since your last managing job. Well, I think my biggest strength is communication. There's no question about it. Uh, in order to teach him, you got to be able to reach him. Uh, probably my biggest weakness is I was a young manager coming in and I really didn't understand that hey, you need to get out of the way and let the players play, you know, mm -hmm. uh, get them prepared, get them ready to do their, their thing, then let them go out and do their thing. So. so day one right now, here it is, sprint train starting. What's the first thing you tell your club to believe that they can win the 2014 World Series? Well, you know, the one thing that I would caution my players is don't get caught up in expectations. Mm -hmm. uh, let's get caught up in preparation, you know. If we go out and we prepare ourselves to the best of our ability, uh, the expectations will take care of themselves. Uh, let's not put the cart before the horse. And uh, again, you know, we got talent. And I, I wouldn't have took this job if we didn't have that talent. And I think we're moving in the right direction. And we're a couple pieces away, we're going to get We're going to add, too. I know y'all going to add. You have some sneaky caps up there <laughs> yeah. hiding up there. I'll see you. Is there a base stealing <laughs> clause in your contract? You know, we got, <laughs> we got the new... Uh, the new, what is it? The new thing with the umpires where you can throw a red flag. So yeah. it, it'll save me a lot of money. So, <laughs> well, I, I'm just curious. What is the best story from that incident? Because there's got to be something more to it. Because it is. We still show it on this network. <laughs> look at look, look at look. He can't get up there. Just give me that bag. So what were you thinking right here? <laughs> My back is going to hurt a lot when I get in. <laughs> but seriously, good. there's got to be a story like a oh. family member called saying, "Gosh, that was great," or. What are you doing? Well, you know, I, I tell you this, it's really remarkable what, you know, when you're, you're ticked off, what can happen. When I got into that locker room and I'm sitting in front of my desk, the clubhouse guy comes in and says, are you okay? I say, I'm okay. You know, what, what's up? He said, well, you're bleeding. So what do you mean I'm bleeding? And I looked down, I had ripped the skin off all the knuckles on my Trying to get that back. Trying to get that back out of the crowd. So at that point, I said, ouch. That, uh -huh. <laughs> that is great. Well, Lloyd, we do something on the show called Rapid Fire. I'm going to ask you four questions. 
wacko question. Don't ask question. me anything about my wife. Nope. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. That's uh-uh. Watch. No, but it's watch. That's I'm good. scared, man. I'm glad I wasn't one of those older brothers. He whooped me up. <laughs> Best athletic achievement outside of baseball. I was a hell of a football player. What yeah. position? Halfback. Ooh, Gary okay. Roosevelt. Yeah. Damn. Were you all state? I was not all state, but I was pretty damn good. I was just, right. just chat. I'm just trying to get the credentials. I'm not trying to. I thought him. I was asking. The I question. thought he was going to hit me though. He was about to hit me. He was like, "Yeah, I, I should have been." <laughs> you grew up in Gary, Indiana. More talented family to come out of Gary, the Jackson Five or the McClendon Nine. I would say the Jackson Five was definitely more talented. <laughs> <laughs> just a smidgen more. Yeah. A little bit. Uh, did Jim Leland give you any smoking tips? Yeah, you know, and he's going to give me a lot of slack for this one, but. I've learned how to smoke a cigar in my underwear, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, because Skipper always be smoking a man in his underwear. Right. He's That's still right. doing it. That's good. <laughs> Would you rather swim with sharks or be locked in a room with snakes? Give me the sharks. <laughs> Give me the snakes. <laughs> nice. All right, and uh, before we let you go, you're going to spin our IT uh, Winter Wonderland wheel yep. here. So all you have to do is hit the button. It'll start the all wheel. Right. There we go, and let's see what category comes up today for Lloyd McClendon. It is. Okay, it's it's boys club. All right, so let's say we're all going out tonight. We're hanging out. We have a nice dinner. Then we go out to the karaoke bar. What's the one song you're singing? Mm. Well, I, I probably would call Jay Z and see what he wants. I was gonna say we get a bite, Jay Z. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> New <laughs> York, down up on the sun is the sun. Remember that song? Yeah, I do, but I'm not sure if that's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> good try. Good try. Hey, Lloyd, congratulations. Thanks for having fun right, with us guys, today I on IT. It. We appreciate it. <laughs>